Hey YouTube, how is it going today? In this video, I want to do an update on Occugen because this chart pattern looks absolutely beautiful and it could be exploding imminently. And after that, I want to show you some of the other chart patterns that we're watching that could be exploding soon as well. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've been trading and investing for over 20 years, and in every video, I'll show you some of the potential trades and investments that I see setting up. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. And I also have a Patreon group, so if you would like to be a part of our community and see what we are buying and selling in real time, that link is in the description. All right, so let's get into the charts here. This is the daily chart of Occugen, ticker symbol OCGN. Before we get started, just a couple things. First off, uh, if I could ask you for a favor, if you could like the smash button for me and help me out with the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate that. And number two, of course, is I am not a financial advisor. Please do all of your own research before investing any stocks you see on my videos. Or as Tom Nash says, you got to do you, blah, blah, mother effer, blah, blah. I don't know why. I love it when he says that. It just cracks me up every single time. But whatever. Let's get into the chart. Like I said, this is the daily chart of Occugen. And we actually bought some options on this stock yesterday in the Patreon just because it was making this absolutely beautiful formation. The eight-period exponential moving average was catching up to it and potentially um, going to give it one of them slingshot moves up. And it looks like it's working out so far. It's still pretty early in the charts. So it's actually not too late to get into this if you want to buy options or the stock. Um, it looks like it could be just starting its move up if it is going to have one of those extended moves up. You never know if it is going to, but this is the first step. So it's looking pretty good. Um, we're doing okay on the options so far. I think we're up maybe 30%, give or take, more or less. But uh, I do think that this pattern is just starting. You know, once you get one of these huge moves up, this is exactly what you want to see. You want to see a hold near the top of that range until that eight period exponential moving average catches up. And then it could be off to the races. But if we look at the, let's go to the 15 minute chart and just dissect it a little bit further. So when you get this huge move up, you want to see that sideways move with the lows starting to rise just like we got. And then if you zoom in. Um, once it jumps above that eight period exponential moving average and starts to hold it, that is usually the signal to get in. So this one uh, looks like it is uh, starting to take off just perfectly. And, you know, I've been looking into some of the news on oxygen and it really isn't super compelling, you know, for me to think the stock is just going to absolutely explode. But the accumulation that is going on in this stock is undeniable. So it makes me think that there could be like something big coming that uh, probably a lot of people don't see. Only the people in the know see because, I mean, just total accumulation in this stock. I mean, look at this move that I had up from the 21st to the 23rd. Just absolute um you know total accumulation no let up had a little bit of a pullback now after you get that pullback what you want to do is see that grind you want to see you know the consolidation at the higher levels that tells you it has a better chance of uh continuation of we'll a continuation move higher and that's what we're getting so far with Occugen. let me go back to the daily chart real quick I mean, it's just an absolutely perfect pattern. We look like we could be in this part of the formation right now. So hopefully we do get that big move up. And if we go to the uh, weekly chart right here, got to zoom in a little bit. But if we zoom in a little bit, you know, it's making this same exact pattern that it made back here in February. Had the move up, pulled back to the 8 period and the 21 period exponential moving average before the blast, blast off. And... Um, that's exactly what we're having right now. Pulled all the way back to the 8 period in the 21, and now it's uh, looking like it could be blasting off again. So Oxygen's chart, Oxygen's chart is looking super, super good. Um, feeling pretty good about this trade so far. Hopefully it does pan out. But um, let's get into some of those other trades. All right, guys, the first one I want to show you is Veristem Incorporated, ticker symbol VSTM. And we are actually already in this one with some options. Um, you can see this thing was formed an absolutely beautiful rounded bottom. Then it turned into this triangle consolidation with these lows getting higher, putting pressure on this resistance area. Already had one false breakout, which uh, I absolutely love it when they have a false breakout uh, because it usually means the next one is has a higher probability of sustaining the breakout. 
But if we zoom in a little bit here, we can see exploded through the resistance area, came right back down to it, tested it, jumped back up above the moving averages and is starting to hook up. So that is your signal to uh, jump in, or at least that's how when I like to buy them, because that usually means um, they're probably going to be starting their next run. Now with VSTM, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it takes out this old high right around 450. I know that's a big move up, but this is a biotech and uh, biotechs can really get moving. Um, you know, these things can be very volatile. They can get moving up or they can get moving down really fast. So you always got to be careful with biotechs. But I am uh, wagering it's probably going to go up, or at least I hope so. Um, of course, um, if the stock breaks below this uh, support area, uh, that will be my signal to cash out if the options still have any value. And there's still plenty of time on these options. We bought the nearest term, which is right around a expire right around a month from now. So we still got several weeks, but we are optimistic that uh, Veristem is going to be a decent trade. The next one we are watching is UONEK. UONEK has not triggered yet. You see it has it also formed this nice rounding bottom. It's broken above this uh, resistance area. And I was actually hoping it was going to get back down to this resistance, which of course becomes support after you break above it. Um, it's not cooperating as of yet. I was really hoping to get it closer down towards this 215 area, but it might not because it is holding the highs, which of course is a very bullish sign. Now, this stock is a very low float, thinly traded stock, so you have to be careful with these. I mean, today it's only at 51,000 shares. So uh, typically, I try to stay away from stocks that are too thinly traded, and this one is pretty close to that uh, area where I draw the line, but it's such a beautiful chart pattern that I'm willing to bend the rules a little bit on that if I can get in uh, towards this uh, white line, this eight period exponential moving average, or this other support area. But U-O-N-E-K, Urban One Incorporated, um, definitely a nice looking chart pattern. So I'm keeping an eye on this one. This might be the next one that I buy. Uh, next one after that I want to show you is GSM. If we look at GSM, it's making a perfect chart pattern there in the metals and mining industry and you can see that it's been going sideways since february now it has broken above this this recent resistance area and is coming back down to test it as i am making this video so this is an absolutely perfect risk reward area to be buying one of these like breakouts you know if it pulls right back down towards the support area you usually buy it right around this level so i might be buying this one after i get off the video i kind of like uh u-o-n-e-k for some reason that one just uh, keeps popping up into my mind but gsm gsm is uh super close but the reason why you want to buy it in this area, because if it breaks down below that support area, you know that the chart pattern has probably failed. So uh, your risk is pretty small. You know, you could risk, uh, take a small position in this one and risk 10%, risk 40 cents all the way down to, you know, $3.60 or so. And you would probably, you know, not be incurring too much risk. But if this thing does end up holding the support area and exploding higher, you know, there could be a lot of reward left on this chart. But the next one I want to show you is AUMN. AUMN has been one of my favorites. I've traded this one a couple of times and made decent money on it both times. But uh, it is kind of a slow mover. It did come all the way down to this support area. Uh, and it held that support area. And now it's starting to round up again. It looks like it's about ready to bust through this support or this resistance area right around 78 cents to 80 cents. And if it does, it could be on its next move up. Now, this one, like I said, it doesn't move very fast. This one kind of bores you to death. You know, it's almost like you, you buy this one and you forget about it for a couple of weeks. And then you check it again and you're up like, you know. 25 percent or something like that which isn't a lot with these you know stocks that are under a dollar but you know every once in a while they can't get moving just like it did back in january so i do like this chart pattern i love the fact that it came down to this support area and it's holding it and now it's starting to make one of those rounded bottoms and it is in the metals and minerals sector which uh, is kind of a uh, inflationary play and those are starting to pick up steam again so aumn is definitely one that's worth watching and the last one I wanted to show you was STCN. STCN, we were watching uh, before and we thought perhaps it was going to break through uh, $2.15, but it had this failure. Um, came down to this support area and tried to break through it again. It is having a tough time, but it looks like it is... Uh, 
imminently going to break through this resistance area. So I'm watching this one pretty closely because STCN, um, if we look back at the price action from January, this thing can really get screaming upwards as well. And uh, it can go up in the blink of an eye. So I have to keep a sharp eye on uh, Steel Connect because uh, this is definitely a high flyer. And it's getting close towards that explosion point. If it can break through this resistance area, it could be off to the races again for STCN. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions about any of these stocks or if you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, guys. And until next time, take care.